Folks, you don't even need ArcGIS for desktop to publish services, maps, and other things. Let me illustrate briefly here, but again, we'd need another webinar to give it justice. I'm signed in to an ArcGIS organizational account, as you can see here. In the My Content area, I can use the Add Item button to add services. And if I didn't know what kind of items I could add, I could hit this Supported Items and I could see that I can support and upload maps, data layers, map layers, data files, all kinds of things, applications and tools. Let's go back to My Content. This file is on my computer. It is a zipped shapefile. Okay, now it is very important that I add a title and give it some tags. The reason is because I want to be able to search for it and be able to find it later on and I also want my data users that are using this data service to be able to find my, my information. So I've populated the title and given it some tags. I'm going to add item it's creating the service as you can see here with the title that I gave it alright let's go ahead and add this layer now to the ArcGIS.com map viewer we have a nice base map behind it from ArcGIS online we have the data that we added with the attributes with the full attributes that we had populated. Notice it's all in one color though. That's easily changed. Let's go ahead and change the symbology. Change symbols. Instead of single symbol, how about by color? And how about we map it on count, which is the, and how about quantile, so with the same number of observations in every category. And I'm fine with those colors. You know, I might want, though, the symbols to be just a little bit narrower as far as the outline width. How about a one wide? Okay, done. Super. All right. Well, I like that, so I can get a good idea of the data behind here as well as the pattern of Lyme disease and you can definitely see the southerly pattern during the 1990s. So just to recap, how did we generate that? That was generated from within my content. We added an item and it was a zipped shapefile on my computer that we added to my content and then I made sure that everybody could look at it. I did a share after I published it and the results once again are right here and then we changed the symbology to color and count and quantile and we tweaked the outline to a one and apply and pop the legend back up and there we've got it excellent switching back to my content now I can go over here and go to my content and see how it's not shared by default I'm going to go ahead and click here and then share it so now you'll be able to look at it as well. As I mentioned earlier, if we go out to this feature service, remember how earlier we looked at it in the map viewer in ArcGIS Online? Let's go ahead and open it up in the desktop world here. It sits here in the lower left of my browser. I'm going to go ahead and open that now. And it's going to fire up my instance of ArcGIS for desktop 10.1 here it is in ArcGIS for desktop now it just has the same symbology so let's go ahead and change that symbology and let's go ahead and change it to graduated color okay so we go to quantities and we want to map the count 
and that's fine I like those uh, colors so let's go ahead and make that the symbology of choice and there it is super and of course we've got the capability of looking at the full attributes for each one of those towns and the Lyme disease occurrence each year now one last note why would I want to bring it into ArcGIS for desktop well now I've got a whole bunch more tools that I can run on that data clustering spatial statistics and lots more I can't do that in the ArcGIS online environment but I can do it here in the ArcGIS for desktop environment and so that's why I would want to bring this data depending on my needs into ArcGIS for desktop but you can see how you can move back and forth between desktop and online wonderful <laughs>